Hey, what is going on everyone? And this is going to be like a long video or anything. It's basically just going to be a quick little video just to show off. Um, not show off, but just to really talk about my excitement towards Deathstroke uh, coming into the DC Universe because it was teased by Ben Affleck. Hoping that it actually turns out pretty well. I hope they don't depower him or anything like they do in mm -hmm. some of the movies. Ah, power too low. Ah, can't use a flash. <laughs> I'll take this out though. But yeah, you might hear the AC, but I'm really kind of hoping that it turns out pretty well. Been looking at this. I'm really happy about this one. Also found another thing. I posted this on the comic book fanatics once when I found it. It's uh, Deathstroke number one, signed by Manny Bennett. Really awesome. This is one of my favorite books I own. Then, okay, I'm gonna take this out. But this is really cool. This is the sword that Deathstroke uses in the Arrow Shell. I'm a pretty big fan of sword collecting. Give me one second, I'm gonna pause this real quick so I can take this out. And resumed. Now this is the sword that he uses on the show. Pretty big fan of swords. And this is the one similar to what he uses on the show. Really like this one a lot. I'm actually gonna, with the with it covered of course, but I wanna get it like framed on the wall with that, uh, with the book. There it is. Yeah, I want to get this framed with that. Um, I might, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get an upgraded copy, like 9.6, try for a 9.8. 9.8s are expensive as all hell with that book, but I'm going to try. Um, I may get one just un ungraded so I could get signed by Manu Bennett because I know he goes to a lot of cons. Uh, I met him a few times. He's a really cool dude down the earth. He likes to talk to fans as well. Um, one time I met him at a hot dog stand in New York. Pretty funny. <laughs> it was kind of awkward at first, but then it was just funny as all hell. Um, but yeah, that was a quick little video. I'm super happy that Deathstroke is finally joining the Marvel, not bah, Marvel fucking universe. Are you kidding me? The DC universe. God damn. I might get some slack for that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh god. Um but yeah, I'm super happy that he's finally joining the movie verse for DC. Long time coming. He did a really great job on Arrow. I think they did him justice. Not in season what was it, season three. That one episode. God damn it, that one episode. They completely made Deathstroke useless. Deathstroke could have easily killed Theo and freaking Oliver on that island. God damn it. Hope they just don't depower him. Because they did a pretty well pretty good job. Of making him seem like he was impossible to beat, I will say that in season two. And um, overall, yeah. And this was just a quick little video, a little bit of a mess ups. Flash start start working. Ah, stopped working because of the goddamn low battery. But yeah, overall, it's pretty cool. Hope everyone's having a great time collecting. Hope everyone's being excited about all the news. There's a lot of Marvel news happening. Shit ton of DC stuff going on right now. One involving. One of my favorite villains. Well, actually, to be honest with you, Deathstroke is my favorite villain. It's always a, it's always a mix between Deathstroke, Joker, and um, wow, who would I put in my third spot? That's a tough one right there. Honestly, that's that's tough because I would think Captain Cold. Yeah, I would put Captain Cold up there too. I love Captain Cold, but um, Deathstroke definitely number one. This series was fantastic, by the way. The Tony Daniel one, and then he hands the Hands it over to Kirkman. Kirkman did a fantastic job. Kirk Ham. Kirk Ham. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Both very good artists. They, he, he emulate. He doesn't emulate, but he has his own style now pretty good. And I said this is going to be a short little video. Damn, it's already at over four minutes. Jesus. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I plan to get... Um, I was going to put, like, Red Hood in within the top three, but Red Hood nowadays really isn't necessarily a villain. They're just kind of making him to be, like... Ain't like in the middle or trying to do good, but I plan to get him graded next. Hope for like a 9.0, 9.2, anything better. That's pretty good by me. But um, yeah, this is a quick little video, and hope everyone's having a great day. Hope everyone's having fun collecting what they love, and I hope everyone's just having fun in general. Like, there's a this is a fantastic time to be a comic book fan in general. You're collecting. I mean, geez, DC is killing it. I know Marvel's making some ant. Eh, yeah, type of decisions, but some people are still enjoying it, which is good. You know, not everything's going to be for everyone. Rebirth's doing good. 
Marvel's doing good. That's a good time. I just hope that the DC movies can just become better than what they are. I'm not saying that, you know, they're not terrible. Suicide Squad, I've seen it twice so far. It's not too bad. I just wish that, you know, they probably did some things. Di they, I wish they did things differently, edited it better. Uh, second time around, it was kind of boring at some parts. But overall, not too bad. And that is it. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Peace, everybody.